channel we're back y'all and the kids are back to school we can film and cook and kiki and peace Woo! i can cuss a little <laughs> we're cooking again today of course i'm all done up because we just filmed true crime on the second well no this is the second channel we just I just filmed a true crime video. It'll be up by the time you see this. If you're into that kind of thing, go check us out on the true crime channel. However, what I was trying to uh, get out is that we're about to prep dinner for tonight. We're doing jalapeno cheddar bacon burgers on the Black Star. We might as well. So it's about one o'clock right now. I got a little bit of time before the kids get out of school and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep dinner. That's my favorite thing low key about the kids being in school is that I can prep dinner while they're at school and then um, get them home, do homework, do it all, blah, 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 blah. And then just finish up dinner really quick. We can eat, take a bath, go to bed. It's super quick. So there's a couple things I'm gonna do to prep dinner. We're gonna take the buns out to the Blackstone, toast the buns up on the Blackstone. Before we toast the buns on the Blackstone, I'm gonna throw my bacon down, cook this bacon, and I'm gonna put a fresh grease trap in the Blackstone little thing so I can keep my bacon grease because you could do anything with bacon grease, baby. I'm also gonna butter the buns and a little bit of bacon grease. So we're gonna brown the buns, cook the bacon, we're gonna form the patties. I also got these big, I've never seen these before, these steak cut fries. That sounds really good to me. I'm only gonna have a couple. Y'all know I'm trying to unbig my back. I got lettuce and like like a big bulb of lettuce to make um like a protein style burger with my burgers because I got I gotta lose some of this weight, girl. I'm gonna have a bite of my man's burger with his bun, but I'm not about to eat a whole burger bun. Let's go out to the Blackstone, see what it's looking like. I had some ants on it. I did a little bit of Googling and it said that I was keeping my Blackstone too close to the grass, which is definitely true. Um, I just didn't move it because I knew we were gonna be cooking on it today. But after today, I'm gonna go ahead and move it so it's not so close to the grass line. And yeah, let's get dinner started. <laughs> I'm also in my robe, but can't nobody see me out there. But y'all, y'all judging? I hope not. Mm. Let's go fire up the Blackstone. <laughs> Let's go fire up the Blackstone. <laughs> okay, so I just got stopped dead in my tracks because there is a wasp nest on my back patio and I thought we had resolved the situation. Well, I, the situation is resolved, but I think there's a couple angry wasps out there looking for their nest. And he literally, a, li a wasp literally just met me at the back door. Like, what, what you, I, so um, I'm gonna leave you guys right here and assess the wasp situation. I just got this camera. I don't wanna break it. And I will pick you guys back up once I figure out what's going on like it's that time of the month can they smell blood i'm kind of scared i don't want to get stung oh my god i don't even have no pants on i don't want to get stung on my booty okay so i went out there quickly and turned the black stone on because i know the heat that kind of radiates from that thing um scares the bugs away like there's no bugs out there when that thing is on pushing out all that heat so i turned it on i'm gonna let it heat up i also realized um i need to probably put some real clothes on yeah i mean i, I mean i at the very least i need to put my hair up in a cloth hip i've actually caught my hair on fire before cooking so you would think i would always want to put my hair up i obviously didn't learn a lesson then but to be fair when that happened i was wearing a wig but if you watch me on the true crime channel you remember when i got caught on fire at the stove um <laughs> Oh, the store only had lean ground beef. I went to two stores and they both had lean ground beef. So I'm thinking, can I add bacon fat to this ground beef? Is that a thing? I might have tried regardless, but that's I, I don't. That's why I'm cooking the bacon and stuff right now, so it can cool, so we can add some of this bacon grease to this dry ass beef. Cause I don't want no dry ass burger. Does that make sense? Whole neighborhood about to smell like bacon. 
it's too damn hot to be playing out here. I thought y'all was reporting me putting the bacon on the grill, but y'all wouldn't. But that's okay. Y'all know what bacon looks like when it cook. Um, I'm going to let it do its thing. And then we're going to pull it off. It's hot as hell. Okay, that's our little bacon. Now I'm about to take a little paper towel and get some of this grease off, just a little, so we can put the buns down. This will be way more fun when it's not 100 degrees outside, but we got everything ready to go. Oh my God. On that Blackstone, it's definitely a fall activity. Like when it's not being 100 degrees outside, I'll have way more fun out there. But y'all look, my makeup has not moved. I've been sweating, but she's still cute or whatever. Um, so we're gonna do the burger patties or whatever, but I need to go pick up my kids so we're gonna run carpool and then when i come back we'll form the patties and then we're gonna chill until uh dinner time oh ow, ow, i just spilled hot bacon grease on my finger i can't remember if i explained this to y'all or the the tiktok but we collected the bacon grease so we can add some bacon fat to our burgers because i could only find lean ground beef and i don't want no lean burger i am trying to unbig my back but not that bad it's so hot outside these capri suns have like oh my god slushy on the inside Ugh. okay back inside i'm gonna add in the bacon fat that we harvested again i'm not sure if this is gonna make a difference but it'll make me happy <laughs> I'm also gonna weigh these out about 155-ish grams, something along those lines. Let's see what a 150 looks like. Mm, okay, 155, about that size. If that time of the month and ground beef makes me uncomfortable, I'm gagging on the inside. I want them all the same size so they cook pretty evenly so I don't have to babysit them on the griddle. It's too hot to be out there checking temperatures and stuff once one of them's ready they all gonna come off okay it's a thousand degrees outside i probably should have bought this during the fall you know what i mean okay this should be about two more right here okay that's insane this worked out perfectly this one this last one is a little bit over but it gave us 13 patties so should i break this one up into 13 pieces and put it in each, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, yeah, I just added a little extra to each one. Who cares? Thirteen patties would have sent me over the edge. Okay, we'll season these out on the grill. I bought this, but... I don't know. I'm supposed to smash your little food down. Mm. I'm going to season this side. And then flip them on the grill and season the other side. You want to smell it? Yeah. Should be too seasoned. It's my favorite. And I couldn't cook 
them burgers earlier because you know why? Wow. It was too fucking hot. Ooh, I'm gonna take this outside. Bacon burgers, big back bacon jalapenos, jalapeno bacon big backs.